2024 Topps Chrome officially arrives tomorrow. And boy, oh boy, do collectors have a lot of questions with this product. And hopefully, I could answer them here in this video today. As this is the Watch Before You Buy episode for 2024 Topps Chrome. So let's get into it. So before we do that, of course, let's plug the giveaway right quick. So at 10,000 subscribers... We are going to be giving away hobby packs of the current product at the time. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on what has been your favorite moment so far this baseball season. I'm sure a lot of Dodgers fans are probably going to be saying Teoscar Hernandez of course, winning the Home Run Derby last night. So let me know what your favorite moment has been. I will pick the winner once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So there's that. The first thing I do like to say, though, is I apologize if <clears throat> I sound a little, like, hoarse. I guess that's the best way to put it. I am actually very dehydrated. Um, of course, if you guys missed my discussion the other day, I was at the horrific events in... Pennsylvania. Uh, I was there. Um, you know, if you watch the current news, you know exactly what happened. I'm not even going to discuss it. It was just sickening. Um, but either way, um, just with all the running I had to do to get to my car, which is actually like a mile and a half straight, and in the 100 degree heat, it turns out that I am actually very dehydrated. I've, I don't know, man. I'm really, really tired right now. Headache, aches, and pains all over my body. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I sound a little winded because I, I really am. But you know what? The show goes on. We're going to make videos regardless, and that's exactly what you're doing here today. This is one of the best videos of every you know new release I do. There's, I said to myself, there's no way I am missing that. And come back tomorrow where we go over my top 10. I already recorded it. It's a very good video, very informative. It's only about 20 minutes long. Um, it's actually pretty much... You know, it's a lot shorter than my typical watch or uh, top 10 videos, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. So either way, let's get into the main topic, right? Watch before you buy. What does that mean? So if you're new here on the channel, we go over every format, what you get in the box, guarantees, prices, and things like that, and then we come to a conclusion, or in this case, lack thereof, on potentially the best way to buy or, you know, the most informed decision you can make on buying this product. So let me get my notebook here and we're good to go. So this format has five different configurations, this product. We have Blaster, Monster, Hobby, Jumbo Hobby, and the very much controversial Breakers Delight Boxes, which we will all be talking about in order of lowest price to highest price. So let's start with the blaster. Blaster boxes, you guys know, have been increased to $40. Walmart most likely will be $45. Ugh, not, not, not ideal, man. Not ideal. I do not support that in the slightest bit. Seven packs a box, four cards a pack. That is the standard for Chrome. Every release, this, uh, Format has four cards a pack. That's the standard Chrome card count. 28 total cards for $40 plus dollars. And the guarantees, which this is interesting, so listen up. Two pinks, which we knew about. Two sepias, which we also knew about. And this is interesting. So now they're going to be including, as far as I know, this is the first year they are doing this. I don't remember this. One Ray Wave per blaster box now. Let's talk about it, right? What has changed in this box to be increased $10? One Ray Wave Parallel, which used to be in the light boxes, which obviously are not, like, they're the way the Dodo Bird, now they're extinct. Um, the question we have to ask ourselves here, right? The question we have to ask ourselves here is this. With a 300-card checklist, which I forgot to mention that. That's typically the first thing I mention in every one of these videos. The checklist is 300 cards. Is this box worth $40? Or should I say, 
Is this box worth a $10 upcharge over one new Ray Wave Parallel? The answer to that question is absolutely the fuck not. No. The answer to that question is no. Again, 300 car checklist. The chance of you pulling, you know, a buyback, because I'm assuming that's what you guys are obviously going to try to want, because obviously I do believe uh, Ray Waves will be $40 in buyback, as well as the pinks and the sepias. So you have five chances, five chances to pull a buyback of like Otani or Judge or Harper or Gunnar Henderson or something like that, right? Odds are very slim. Five chances in a 300-card checklist, that's very, very slim. That's what, like, if my math adds up, like 6%. I, I could be totally wrong there, but like what? That's very, very low. 5% chance to pull a buyback, not good. Not good. Of course, you know, there's rookies and things like that as well. So that's obviously something to chase and look forward um, to, to finding. But again, I said it yesterday and I'll say it again. eBay is going to be your best friend with this product, no doubt, which we will talk about a lot more in the end of this video. Next, let's go to the Monster Box. Monster Box, surprisingly, is only $65. Steel City has them for $75. Um, other sites like Fanatics had them for 65 so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, uh, but we'll just say 65 um, because that's the official, I assume, MSRP uh, price, which you will find at Walmarts, Targets, and Myers and whatever else, right? So the description of this box is really weird, right? So you get 42 total cards, right? But the packs in the card count is, is similar to Blasters. It is seven packs, and it's four cards a pack, which clearly... I don't know if this is a typo. I assume it is. There, there's no way this math adds up. 42 total cards and 28. You get the 28 out of those uh, 7 times 4 is 28. But here's the thing. Here's where it gets interesting right here, right? You get 10 base X-Fractors and 2 Ray Waves. I assume how they depict and how they describe... This box, it looks like there is one singular pack in the monster box. In years past, it was not like that. In years past, the the X Fractors and I guess now the Ray Waves were randomly inserted into the, the packs. So it looks like this year, how the description of the product was is that they're gonna be one big 12 card pack that has all of these in it. So let's talk about it. I said it yesterday and I'll say it again. If you're going to buy a box, I think this is the box you're going to want to buy. Um, 12, you know, 12 opportunities to pull a, you know, buyback potentially with the 10 base X fractors and the two Ray waves guaranteed 12 chances out of a 300 card checklist is still obviously not the best. It's less than 10%. To even pull anything relatively decent um but again the, the rookie checklist is so like stacked i mean listen if you pull an x-fractor of like a merrill or a Chirio or a holiday or a jared jones or an ellie de la cruz you know you're gonna be in the green i mean chances are they're probably i mean if you pull an x-fractor of like one of those guys it's probably gonna be like 20 30 bucks um so obviously it's pretty good but again um the value of this product as a whole is just, it's just not there um you know I said it I, earlier, and I'll say it again. eBay is going to be your best friend, um, which we will talk again a lot more about that um, towards the end uh, of this video. So we have three more formats left to talk about. Let's go Hobby Box. Hobby Box price, $220. According to Steel City, I'm using Steel City prices now, so if these prices seem a little off, that is why. Um, Fanatics has them at $199. I obviously recommend going there first, if anywhere, or Tops. Um, because you'll obviously get it a lot cheaper there. Um, but again, 24 packs, four cards pack, that is 96 total cards, and you are guaranteed one autograph. And for all you people who like to buy loose packs at the card store, average price of a hobby pack will be $10 a pack if you decide to buy them loose individually at a card store, which 
I may or may not recommend because obviously if it's picked over, obviously you don't want to do that. But if it's a fresh box, then I would say yes. I mean, that obviously means the auto is still in there. Um, so hobby I discussed yesterday isn't the worst in the world. Again, it's a seventy dollar price increase, and according to Steel City, it's almost it's a ninety dollar price increase on Steel City. Last year I paid one hundred and thirty dollars for my hobby box of Chrome. This year I paid two hundred and one dollars. So obviously not not ideal, obviously, because you know you want more money in your pockets, right? With inflation in today's world, it's just awful. Inflation keeps on going up, 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 up. You know, it's it's just terrible. So um, obviously, I I would not, you know, probably personally, if I was just a casual collector, I would probably not buy this uh, format. I probably wouldn't. Um, autograph, again, the autograph checklist, <clears throat> which I haven't even talked about. Sorry, my throat's getting dry. Um, I haven't really talked about the autograph checklist, but the autograph checklist is huge. It's like literally, I kid you not, double, literally double last year's autograph checklist. So, you know, there's a lot of, I don't want to say shitters, but there, there's, there's a ton of them. I'm just going to put it how, how uh, bluntly there's, there's a lot of bad players. And, you know, D, E, F list players on on the checklist. I'm just going to say how it is because that's the truth. So there is that. Let's go to Jumbo. Jumbo prices are about $400 on Fanatics, Steel City, which, you know, I, I put these prices for Hobby and Jumbo Hobby and Breakers Delight because there's a good chance this is what you're going to be paying at a card store on Wednesday if you didn't buy on Tops.com. So that's why I really put these in here. $440 on SteelCityCollectibles.com. Um, 12 packs. There's two rows, right and the left row. Six packs a row. Um, 13 cards a pack. So, you know, not a lot of cards. <laughs> and that is a total of 156 total cards. And again, if you like to buy loose packs, you're going to be averaging $35 to $40 a pack. A pack of this loose. Nah, ugh. Ugh, that's just disgusting to me. And of course, the big selling point of this format is three autographs. Ugh, I mean, I said it once before and I'll say it again. The price of a jumbo box and a hobby box are literally the same exact price of when they were five autographs and two autographs in their respective configuration. I don't understand why we are pricing these out of out of reality. These prices are absolutely ridiculous. I'll continue to say it time and time again till I'm blue in the face. The product is overpriced. Overpriced. Absolutely overpriced. All right. Last format before I get to my real thoughts and opinions. Breakers of Delight. The very controversial Breakers Delight that 99.9% .9 of us are not going to buy. $500 a box. 12 cards, only 12 cards, all numbered and exclusive, but still only 12 cards and two autographs a box. And there, my friends, is all the format information of this product. Let's get into our real thoughts and opinions. For one, Breakers Delight boxes need to go. Breakers Delight boxes are the reason why this product is going to suffer at retail. All of those autographs and numbered cards that are in there are obviously, you know, going to water down the product substantially. I heard and I saw some stats. They made a lot of Breakers Delight boxes more than last year by, I don't want to say double because I don't know the official number from last year, but it's a lot. I could try to find the official number, but it's a lot. And what happens when, you know, you have a lot of autographs in the checklist? Like I said, the autograph checklist is almost nearly doubled. I kid you not. What happens when these Breakers Delight boxes that literally none of us are going to buy? What happens when they make these is it dilutes the entire product. So retail is most likely going to be terrible. And I talked about that yesterday, and I'll say it again. The odds of retail, both formats, are really not that good. Really, really not that good. Hobby and Jumbo are a little better, but again, they could be a lot better if Breakers Delight boxes were not a thing. And all of those autographs that would be 
in retail or in Breaker's Delight. Someone did the math. Do you know how much money you potentially have to spend to pull one autograph in Blasters? $720. That's not even including the tax. Ridiculous. So probably about $800. That's ridiculous. And to pull like a reliever, like a rookie relief pitcher? Oh, man. That's just disgusting to me. It's sick and it's senile, to be honest. So, to, to be honest with you, if, you know, you're a collector that lives on a budget, has a family, has to pay bills, because I know a lot of people, a lot of my viewers are in the range of, like, 20 to, like, 50 years old. So, I mean, I don't really have a lot of, like, you know, younger people watch my videos. Um, surprisingly enough, I definitely thought that would be the case, but... A lot of my viewers are in the range of like, you know, early adult life like me to, you know, somewhat older, almost at a senior level. I mean, I hate to say that if you're like 50 plus years old. I mean, that's just, that's how it is, right? But either way, um, you know, if you're someone who is on a budget, paying bills, feeding a family, putting a roof over their head, providing, it's it's really tough to buy this product. Um, it, it's a shame that Tops really and Fanatics ha have done what they're doing. Um, this hobby, and I, I can make a whole 50, maybe an hour and a half video about this topic alone. This hobby, as we know it, is becoming like the rich get richer kind of scenario. Breakers are going to have a fun-filled day with this product. And that is, quite frankly, the only people that are going to be opening a lot of this stuff. Because a casual collector... Um, I, I'd call myself above casual because obviously I make videos, so I'm above casual. Um, I'm not really a hardcore. I mean, I, do I say I'm a hardcore collector? I, I really don't know. I don't think I reached that status yet. I don't think I ever will. So I'm in the middle of like casual and hardcore, whatever you want to call that. I, I don't know. Um, but it, it, this product, this product is not worth it. Um, if you have a couple extra bucks to spend. If I had to place my money on a product, I would say hobby, just because you get an autograph. Uh, but if you don't worry about autographs and like want to put the set together and things like that, I would say Monster Boxes, probably. Um, you get the Ray Waves. You get the 10 x Fractors. Um, so for $65, that's not terrible. Um, Breakers Delights, you could just kiss that shit goodbye. Like, don't even think about buying that. That is a total waste of money. I kid you not. Um, the chances of you pulling a good autograph and those two chances, again, with the autograph checklist being as big as it is, not good. You're probably going to end up getting some rookie autographs. Actually, as a matter of fact, I looked at the checklist, you are actually guaranteed to get a rookie autograph in a Breaker's Delight, if not two. So, <laughs> you know, I, I would not touch those. That, that That's called Breaker's Delight for a reason. Casual collectors should not be buying those, and I recommend you do not. Um, jumbos are completely overpriced. I would not buy those at all. Three autographs for $440. That is the exact same price. Literally, I kid you not, almost to a T of what a five autograph jumbo hobby box was back a couple years ago. So that is not worth it to my opinion. Hobby, decent again, but again, $70 up compared to last year. It is what it is. Blasters, $10 up. I personally wouldn't buy them. I, I bought one just to, you know, put in the background of the videos here and to maybe chance my luck at a sepia or a pink, you know, buyback. But again, if you're going to go buyback hunting, I would say monsters are your best bet as well. Um, but again, overall, in the grand scheme of things, like I said two times before, eBay is going to be your best friend here. Um, eBay is probably the best place to buy what you really want. Um, if a favorite player of yours has an autograph in the checklist. Don't waste money trying to hunt that down. Go on eBay, find it yourself, and just buy it outright. Same thing with a parallel or a team or whatever. You know, if you have a favorite team, which I assume every single one of you do, just buy the cards you want. Uh, seriously, let the let the how do I say this without pissing people off? Let the idiots go buy the boxes. I, that, that's how that's how I'll say it. Let the idiots go buy the boxes. The only reason I bought a box. Now you might be saying to yourself, grip and rip, you're calling yourself an idiot. I bought a hobby box. I did. But the reason I did, because it's an investment. Really, at the end of the day, it is an investment for me because I make that money back literally in like a couple days off YouTube. So to me, that is not, you know, 
really a big deal. But to a casual collector who don't make videos or anything like that on YouTube, you know, who makes card videos, I wouldn't do it. I truly would not do it. Um, eBay will be your best friend here, and that's probably the best advice I can give you. And whoever tells you on YouTube to go buy this product up, because I know, I know there's going to be paid shields out there that say that. Just laugh at them. Seriously. If there is a paid tops fanboy shill who goes and tells you to go buy this product, I don't want to name names directly, but there's a ton of them. At least five to ten I can name off the top of my head right now. If they're out there saying they, you should buy this product, turn the other way and laugh in their face. That's the best way I could put it. Sorry for going on a little rant right there, but had to be said. I'm the realest person who makes card videos on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says. No, I'm not getting my card in big league. I never will. Trust me. So I don't really care. But at the end of the day, it's your money. You spend it the way you want. Hopefully you pull something good. Hopefully I pull something good. But I'm preparing to pull a rookie relief pitcher auto. And that is it. So either way, guys, that's all I got for you. So before we get into a pack here of we're opening Donruss Baseball today. Let me tell you about today's sponsor of the channel. This video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. And we have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below and download the app today. Use my promo code grip and rip all one word. That is promo code grip and rip all one word to save $20 off of your first purchase. The code will not work if you've purchased through SeatGeek already. So huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring my channel. Now let's get into a pack of Donruss. And if anyone's wondering the next time I'm going to be at PNC Park, because I somewhat I have a little following now of, I guess, my tour schedule, um, the next time I'm going to be at PNC Park is going to be this upcoming Saturday against the Phillies. So if you're there, say hi. I'm actually going to be in the outfield, like on the Clemente wall this time around. This is typically not where I typically sit. Uh, but it's in the shade, and it's going to be really, really hot. So I'm not going to really complain, like, at all. My seats are, like, 110%, like, shaded. Um, so I'm not really going to complain, um, especially after Saturday where I was, um, you know, at, you know, the rally. I was, you know... If you didn't know, now you know. If you didn't watch the video, but I, I'm literally all like burnt to a crisp. I'm, I'm tan as tan can get. Um, but either way, I'm not going to complain about being in the shade uh, at a pirate game this time around. So, let's see here. I don't think we've pulled anything really of note yet. I really haven't been paying attention. Now, Jim, tell me that's a pretty cool card. I like that card. Um, Seth Beer actually, I believe, is a pirate now. Actually, as a matter of fact, um, Joey Votto, who is now in like AAA, believe it or not. So looks like uh, the era of Joey Votto is coming to an end. Definitely a Hall of Famer. Definitely, definitely, definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, Ryan McMahon would love to see him in a Pirates uniform. Not going to happen though. Let's see what else we got here. Zach Gallen, Walker Bueller, Jazz Chisholm. All Star Games tonight, by the way. My boy Paul Skeens is starting the All-Star game. Very, very excited to see that. Now we get to the Reds. Boba Shett Red. That's pretty cool. Um, color combo, I guess, because obviously if you know the color wheel um, in art class, which I took a lot of art classes, um, red and blue are like color matches on the color wheels. That, that's pretty cool. And, of course, we have a Dylan Carlson Red. So color match again to an extent. And we got Clayton Kershaw. So... Some decent uh, reds there. I'm not really going to complain about that. And we got a Alexander Canario rated prospect. I believe this guy's pretty good. I've heard of his name before. Um, I believe he plays for, I believe, the Cubs, right? Yeah, it says, yeah, it says Chicago. Yeah, so yeah, so um, I think I've heard of him before. Uh, Cubs fans chime in there. I, I think I heard of him. I, I don't know. But either way, guys, hopefully... Um, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about 2024 Tops Chrome. How are you buying this product, if at all? Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.